Look at all this clutter. I probably have a dozen remote controls laying around my home, some of which I don't even know what they do. Now, if you've got the same issue, you may want to look at getting rid of most of these and use just one universal remote control. Now, they're very easy to use. There are several ways to teach these remotes how to work with all your devices. Some allow you to point the actual remote control of a specific device to the universal remote. The universal remote will capture and remember the signal. Even easier, almost every electronic manufacturer has special codes for their devices, and they're listed in their setup guide. Simply find your device, then enter the code. Finally, there's the internet. High-end remote controls can be programmed online and then downloaded from your computer right into the remote control. Now, universal remotes like this can run anywhere from about $100 to well over $1,000 for the professional custom installed one. But either one you choose. Finally get to say goodbye to all of these. Have you ever seen people walk around aimlessly talking to themselves? Well, if you look closely, they may be using their cell phone with little earpieces like this. Now, these devices may look Star Trek-y, but used correctly, they can make your life a lot easier and activities like driving a lot safer. It's called Bluetooth and is a technology that allows different devices from different manufacturers to talk to each other on a shared wireless platform. Essentially an ultra low power radio signal, Bluetooth allows wireless access to certain devices within about 30 feet. Many cell phones now come with Bluetooth built in, so it's easy to set up and use a wireless headset. Instead of using a wired headset that can cause distraction or get caught in a seat belt, you're now free to keep both hands on the wheel or multitask while using the phone. And Bluetooth is not just for cell phones. Some keyboards, mice, and printers have the technology built right in to create less clutter in your home or office. So kill the cord, get Bluetooth. old computers or monitors do you have laying around your house? Now if you plan to get rid of them one day, this is something you should not do. Take them out to the trash can. Well, instead, you should look to recycle old computer equipment to protect not only what's inside here, but also the environment. More than 300 million computers are expected to become obsolete this year, containing an estimated 1.2 billion pounds of lead, 2 million pounds of cadmium, and 400,000 pounds of mercury. Read up on your state's laws on the proper disposal methods. There are companies who will send you a recycling kit for a nominal fee. You simply pack up your materials and ship them to the company. When it arrives, they'll erase the data from the CPU and process all the others in accordance with EPA and state regulations. One other tip, if your equipment still works, you may want to donate it to an organization who could use it. So seek out your favorite charity. But if it doesn't work, dispose of it. But follow the rules. The internet is undoubtedly the largest collection of freely accessible information resources. However, the net can become a hazard to your children. Searching the web may lead your innocent offspring to objectionable material and activities. Plus, they can unknowingly download viruses. Well, to help your kids understand the great potential of the web, you should set guidelines on when, where, and how they can surf. If your children are using the web, monitor them when possible. Your Tinevi is the best monitoring tool. Tell your kids never to give out their phone number, last name, or address, and that unknown people on the web are strangers, and remind them that they shouldn't download anything or enter contests without permission. You can also use special web filters that block objectionable websites, chats, and email. If you forbid your kids from accessing the web, you'll deprive them of the interactive fun and the excellent educational tool that it is. So be aware of the potential dangers and make sure your family knows the rules that you've set. What are you guys doing? Hi, I'm Michael Garfield. Now you're looking at some great homes right now, but you know what? It's nice to get outside once in a while. Now when you're outside, what a great place to listen to songs. Take all those CDs off your computer and put them in a portable music player, like an iPod or an MP3 player. So take a look at these sunglasses that I'm wearing. They're from Oakley and they have a built-in MP3 player. Speakers, all you need to do is just plug it into your USB connection on your computer and you can download hundreds of songs directly into these sunglasses. You can find them on the Oakley website and they run about 300 to 400 dollars 
Now, iPods certainly are also the rage. The newest iPods not only play songs, but also play videos. That's right, two and a half inch color screen, and it looks spectacular. Very light, very small. Go to iTunes.com, and you can download some of the latest ABC TV shows and any video you want. So when you get outside, tune in. I'm Michael Garfield. Hi, I'm Michael Garfield. You know, while you're looking at your potential new home, I want to talk about something that's very important in your new home, and that's electricity, your power. What happens if it goes out? We well, hear a lot about generators, and they can get messy. You have to fill them up with diesel fuel, and they can get loud. You should think about getting a portable electric power pack, something like this. This is from a company called Xantrex, and everything you need in one compact package, indeed portable. You can go inside your house or right out here in your garage. Right here, you can plug in almost any appliance, your refrigerator, your television, and two portable AC outlets. Just flip on the power, and you're set to go. You've also got a DC input, where anything from your marine, your boat, or something from your car cigarette lighter can plug in, too. It's got a built-in light. You just flip the switch on, and that's going to power on for several hours. And make sure you're always on the go. Keep this in your car. It's got a built-in air compressor. You can always inflate your car tires or small sports equipment.